Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. We got the money. We're gonna go get a shop. Yeah, hey, yo, sell me your house. <laughs> like, we barely have enough. Hey, that's all you need. I sure will. Did I hear you correctly? You'll buy it, you say? Well, farewell then. The shop is yours. Don't let the place down. Make success of it, lad. We did it! We did it! And so at last, Tornico fulfills his dream of owning his own shop and sends for his family to move down to Endor. And all of them are like, Bishop. Sure, yeah, look at this crap. And our wife is so proud of us! <laughs> and... She runs the counter for you. Clean off! Yeah! Oh, that's so nice. Now, if you talk to her from the opposite side of the counter... She'll sell stuff from your items. That's why I want you to keep the Holy Lance and the Steel Broadsword. Because she sells them at a marked up price. And somehow she's really good at it. Oh yeah, you can, she'll, she'll sell medical herbs for like three times as much as you buy them for. So Holy Lance? Yep. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a quantity of money. That is... The Holy Lance is like 1200 here at the other shop. Okay, I don't think I have anything else to I would sell. Sell the steel broadsword, you're fine with that. We need those though. Now just go ahead and sell. Mm -hmm. That is Jeez. 1000 more than they actually sell for. But keep in mind, nobody else sells them around here. Okay, I think that's all I got. You can even sell your, uh, the, um, the packed lunches from her. Yeah, that Holy Lance was 600 more than what it is actually the other armor shop. Yeah, I don't the think we... Shop. Yeah, nothing else for us here. So, so we gotta go talk to the king now, because yep. she suggested we go talk to him about it. And I guess it's nice for him to know that, hey, he's got a new merchant in town. And I'm here selling crap! Hey, Laurel and Hardy, you guys ever met the king? Did you know you could just walk in here and talk to him? <laughs> now he wants to set up an order for oh. us. Oh. Mm. Six steel broadswords and six suits of iron armor. Okay, so we were starting to save these up, but yeah. we needed the money. Uh, basically, if you want, you can just... Let's see. Is that his commander downstairs? Is that you? Nope. No, he's up in that corner over there. Oh, there we are. I didn't want to talk to you again. This is why I'm Ash Cancel. He'll pay, he's the one who pays you for it. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is, if you want, you can go around and beat up monsters to get item drops. All right. To help stock up the store for now. Or, once you get the profits from the next day stuff, you can go to another shop, buy stuff, and then sell it at the, yeah, your item shop and make a profit off of that. So you can literally go down the street, go like, hey, give me these iron lances. Here, honey, sell them at a premium so I can go buy more iron lances. And you I keep mean... this you keep this up until you can afford the six the six steel broadswords and the six iron armors, if you want. Okay, so where would you buy those from? The steel broadswords are in Bali Moral. Okay, so that's just in the other town. Yes, and they are two thousand gold apiece. And the iron suits uh, the iron the suits of iron armor are twelve hundred in, in, in indoor. You just buy them in friggin' indoor, alright. Yep. Hey, yo, why aren't you supplying your own... You've got them here. Why aren't you supplying your own place with them? 
And this is basically why I kept going back to hind, uh, hiring Laurel and Hardy here, because I was like, hey, I'm gonna beat up more monsters and get their drops, and I'll get the money from them. Yeah, so you know what? I think my plan is gonna be... Because I don't have a ton of money right now, so I'm gonna be waiting a little bit of time for money. I think my plan is probably going to be to go back to the cave? And just murdering guys in there oh, for a while? Real quick, go up to... Go upstairs into your in your new house, and you can talk to your son. He's oh, up yeah. there. Can to talk to my boy? And if I think if you talk to your wife behind the counter, she kind of tells you it's bedtime. So get to there. Yeah. And yes, you can still go back up to. What's this stupid that freaking place called? Lakanaba and still work at the counter. Just in case you want another cautery sword or something. If you get that like Anyway, go back to that cave and try to get drops. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do for a little while. Um, there's no reason for me to keep that on camera. So, I'm going to go do that until I have an amount of money, and we can start this back and forth selling thing going. Yeah. So, yeah, RBR. Hey, guess what we got? Got plenty of armor and plenty of money. Don't forget to eat your packed lunch. Okay, so yeah, you give her the things to sell right up front. Um, I got an iron armor that I can sell. And that's it. We're good. She basically marks Oops. it up like half of what she got half of what its normal sell price is. Yeah, if something sells for what we discovered with the steel broadsword, if it sells if you buy it for 2000, she will sell it for 3000. Which is nice because once you have 2000 gold, you can go up to Bollymore, buy a steel broadsword, come back down here, give it to her to sell, spend the night at your house, come back the next morning and she'll be like Hey, got 3,000 gold for you. And you're like, cool. And then you can use that 3,000 gold to go buy more steel broadswords. I'm going to continue this until I have all the money I need. And then it's like, okay, I have 8,000 gold. I can buy four steel broadswords. I mean, you can... I can sell those and then make 12,000. I mean... So now I can go back and buy six steel broadswords. I mean, effectively, you can do this with the iron armors. It just takes a little longer. But the steel broadswords are basically the big money thing. Also, eat your packed lunch. You took one point of damage. You need to eat that lunch now. Okay. Also, check the bag for me when you're done here. Yum, yum. Bag. Uh, so I have the six iron armor and the six steel broad swords. We just made enough money that we bought him? You need at least 19,200. And trust me, with all the broad sword selling, you make that pretty quick in like two days. Yeah, what we discovered was... You could try to save that armor up and the broadswords up for this, but it's much more efficient just to sell any armor and broadswords you get, and then once you have the money, just go buy them. Go to your miscellaneous menu. Dang it. Go to settings. No. Okay, go back to attributes. Go over to the wagon. No. Go back to the main menu then. I swear, I don't know if it's this chapter or a later chapter, but I, or if it's just a later game overall. But I know you can rename the bag. Hmm. It might just be a later game, because I remember like I can rename the bag. Oh shit! I'm doing this. <laughs> I sure do. That's 60,000 gold coins! If you remember, that's exactly what we need to give to that one guy for that tunnel project he's working on. Heck yeah! So we're gonna go talk to him all right now. Actually, first I'm gonna go to, the, go to bed. Actually, you need to talk to him right now. Okay, fine. Also, you ended up killing a metal slime in that one place. I don't know if you showed it, so we ended up like level 11 instead, so... Whoops. Yeah, so, yeah, it's supposed to be like level 7 or something. Killed a friggin' metal slime gave 
Okay, normal enemy gives like 30 experience. He gave 1300 experience. Yeah. So we're level up, 11 now. You leveled up three times in that one thing. I was really hoping he was going to drop an item, but he didn't. Oh, if he like dropped a cautery sword, I don't know what <laughs> you would have done. It's like, how much can I sell it at the shop for? I've won. Hey, guess what we've got? Yeah, guess how much money we have. I mean, really, what are you gonna do? When you're a merchant, you're really at that point looking to just be a more successful merchant. Yeah. Which means making more money. So, we've got a successful store doing its thing. How do we make more money? Let's excavate this. Get that passage going. We can travel places, find exotic, far-reaching people to deal with. Maybe. And to make money with. Maybe try to find some legendary sword of some sort that has an implication for a legendary hero. Yeah. Now we can go to sleep. Okay, so going home, going to bed. Because I think somebody in the town actually mentions the, uh, the legendary sword, and they're like, ooh, a weapons merchant. I'm interested in that legendary sword idea. I'm so proud of me, wife. Down here working so hard. Oh, and she made me a packed lunch. Don't forget the last bit of money from her. Since you, since you had an extra iron armor to sell. So even if you don't have anything, you get the money by telling her, yes, you do have things to sell, and she gives you your old money. Oh my god. Was she, like, holding on to it? What the hell? Somebody really desperate for iron armor and couldn't shop around? Maybe she was holding on to it, because she was... She only gave us 21,000 last time, despite that we sold, like, so freaking many swords. Yeah, maybe it was something like So that. maybe there was, like, overflow and she couldn't actually give us all the money. Like, I don't actually have anything to sell right now. But that's fine. I think you can see what she has up for sale. I don't think it's anything now. Just say yes and see what she says. Just say yes. Oh yeah, they're yep. out of stock. All right. Okay. Uh, go check the casino. Casino. Still closed. Still closed. I guess they're still closed. Uh, shit. We have to find some way to spend twelve thousand. Gil a gold before we leave. I throw all my money into the pit. <laughs> I can go buy six swords. I mean, I guess. I'm going on an adventure, but I'm gonna leave you with this scale shield. So now we go back to... Actually, go ahead, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and sell all those steel broadswords. Because we're actually going to be in town for a while longer. Oh, okay. So. I'm going to have so many steel broadswords. God. <laughs> you think this thing would sell at something else besides steel broadswords. But nope! He <laughs> specializes it, and it's the only place we can get them, so... I mean, otherwise we gotta go all the way up to that other town. And that's a dangerous trek. Not anybody can make that trek. And Tornico's just going, I'm making that trek. Where do you think I'm getting all these steel broadswords? <laughs> I killed me a metal slime all by myself. <laughs> Literally by himself. He was the only I one. I did! Who... Everybody else missed! Uh, he was the only one who did damage to it, so he got all the XPs from it. And everybody else was just like. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep messing. You know, Laurel you, you... tried to snooze it two times, and we're just sitting here, we're going, Laurel, Laurel, magic doesn't work on them. Oh no, he's got his AirPods in. Oh god, they <laughs> exist in this universe. <laughs> okay, now go back to the tunnel. Okay, so I'm good on everything. We're good on everything. We're gonna sell so many steel broadswords. Yeah, go back to the tunnel. I thought this was gonna be the end. It's not. He's actually working on it now. Oh. See? Hey, look at that! You got some guys working on it. One, two, one, two. This tunnel's buckle stop. I can't keep the rhythm because there's literally no rhythm. Oh, the whole world will be at our fingertips, eh? <gasps> fingertips, eh? <gasps> I have to think the 
casinos opening. Oh up. man. So he basically sends you a letter when it's open. Okay. So we just go back to the house and sleep, and then... Provided that all the broadswords sell, I would wait until you sell all that stuff, because the casino should be open right now. About Gotta now. eat my packed lunch. Yep. It almost looks like there should be meat on it, but it just looks like it's, be it's like lettuce and tomatoes. I mean, Tornico's gotta cut down. Gotta eat healthy. So yeah, the casino is now open. Okay, cool. Oh wait, I gotta go to bed, crap. Oh well, I mean you could check out the casino, but I would go to bed first. Okay, we'll go check out the casino. Oh, I don't even remember it opening up in the NES version at this point. Maybe it did? I just didn't bother, because I was at the point where I was like, I don't care for the casino stuff. Then it turns out I was an idiot, and I sure should have Sure is open! It. Yeah, go see the exchange rate for the coins now. They had to close down because they knew we were coming. Where'd I get all those tokens from? It's I know I bought a lot at the end of the last... Did those carry over? They carry over. Oh, jeez. The, the co uh, tokens are the only things. They're 200 over. gold coins yeah. now. So, basically... Basically, they're doing that because they figured uh, if, you, if you work it hard enough, you'll bank up. You'll make bank in this chapter. So they're like, yeah, we're going to make sure you can't really, you know, manipulate the hell out of that. Oh, man. Oh. So he's done already. Not yet. Oh. Oh, something called a Zenithian. Zenithian, right? Z uh, sure. It's, Zen Zenithian. It's Zenith -ian. Zenithian. Sure, Zenithian. And sword. Zenithian. I don't know. Words. I mean, I've always pronounced it Zenithian, so... See, and that's why she loves you, because you're such a determined old bastard. Can I go to bed? <laughs> Maybe go upstairs and see if it resets her. Dang it! <laughs> I want to hit the yes answer and see what happened. So yeah, this is basically where we get on the whole idea that, hey, Tornico's a weapons merchant. Maybe he wants to go out and find this legendary sword of sorts. God dang it! I hate this town! I want out of here now, it's never, stupid! Never coming back! Actually, maybe if you talk to the guy and come back, she'll just let you through. Oh wow, they paved it all nice? Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to people, look at these guys. Good for you. Don't go down that thing, that'll end the chapter. I just want to talk to that guy. Ah, uh, he maybe he's going too far though. He's yeah. dangerous. I wouldn't. Besides, every time you come back in and come back out, I think he resets. That's so why I'd cancel. Uh, but if you save like that, it will screw. No steel broadsword for miles. Huh. <gasps> I'm gonna trip him, so I can take off ahead of him. It's my sword. And once you exit out of here... I mean, I paid for a tunnel. I didn't pay for statues. And so Tornico set off on an adventure to the east in search of a legendary weapon. And in search of fulfillment of his dream to become the greatest arms merchant in the whole world. Chapter 3. Tornico and the Extravagant Excavation. The End. So he's a merchant of death, then? Har- I sure would. No, I hit canceled. Dang it. Uh, until next time, everybody. When we begin the fourth chapter of the game, which I'll leave for everybody to figure out later. It is sure going to be a chapter. Oh, yeah, it's a nice chapter.